My name is Robert Rodriguez. I'm a father, a husband, and a USA athlete. What it means to have a fighter's heart is being able to withstand any circumstances to mentally, physically, and emotionally be able to push through and become your best self. I've had to exemplify being a fighter and having a fighter's heart my entire life. I lost my leg when I was young to a birth defect, and I've had a lot of circumstances uh, that I've had to push through and, you know, overcoming a house fire, uh, being a victim of abuse, uh, constantly having to prove myself uh, to show people what I can do instead of what I can't do. To compete for Team USA, uh, being a world-class athlete, training and competing all around the world is something I can't con explain. I've watched other athletes on TV and online, and I've envisioned myself being there, and to now be on that stage, on the world stage, representing our country, um, to show people what I can do is just something that I can't explain. It's a dream come true. And I am a full example that if you believe in something, if you envision it, you work hard for it, that you can do it. Growing up, it wasn't easy. Uh, I had to, you know, kind of fight a lot growing in New York and showing people that, uh, that I was someone who was strong uh, mentally and physically. You know, back in the day, technology wasn't what it is today, so prosthetics uh, weren't seen on TV and it just wasn't in everyone's everyday society. An everyday person like myself felt like an alien, like an outcast. I always wanted to prove myself and I always felt like being able to do that through my activities and some of the sports that I played um, was just a way to show that even though I was missing a leg, uh, that I was still a full person. Uh, my condition has taught me to see life in a different perspective, to understand what others may be going through. Uh, may, maybe it's not a disability, maybe it's, you know, uh, has to do with other things that they may be dealing with their lives. And I've been, you know, sympathetic and I can understand and I can relate. And being an amputee has allowed me to have a vision uh, to help others to understand and be kind. And that the more that you give, the more that you'll get and it's given me a purpose. Impossible is my organization that I created to help people. Uh, it started off for those with disabilities. Now it's turned into life coaching and mentoring and motivational speaking. I'm very fortunate to travel the world, to share my story, to educate and empower, uh, to show people that they can be great no matter what they're going through. The toughest wars are given to the strongest warriors. So continue to stay focused and understand that um, even though something might seem like the end, it often can be a new beginning.